Computer station. Unlocked. Nice. Jesus, what happened here? Looks like, like, parentage ransacked the place, or ha had a seance. God, I have no idea. It's kind of unsettling seeing the little ceremonies of people devoted to things inscrutable. Ranger, are you, uh, in the bathroom? No. Crap. Ah, uh, maybe if we'd come here instead of Charity Point, you know. Now we don't know when they left. This, you know, we could have been too late no matter what. There's broken glass over here. That guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Spectacular. He, oh, God, why do you trash everything else? Let's just look for a gate key to get back on the road. Roger. What's this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? A little plaque says, Nutty the Squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. Maps. With a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. <laughs> Alright, up we go. Phone, hang up, redial. Call 911. Wouldn't you call 911? Is this... I'll uh, just redial the last number. Okay. This is Shelly, Park Ranger at Oberon Station. Anyone there? We're not set up for assisted speech. If you're. You're a Park Ranger. We're, we're at the, um, the Turnstone Forest Ranger Station and need to report a crime. Oh, this is Turnstone? I, I just called there. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, I tell her what's going on. Fires have, started. have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on standby? Look, uh, Shelly, I, I know what you're talking about, but it's, it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up, but... Okay, slow down. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Hello? Um, Riley and Jacob were both, or were both residents. Jacob still is. So, Riley, it's not a storm. Something else is going on. Okay. I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. And I've been hearing other things on my patrol. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations, <laughs> but... You couple these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. Times two. So you'll help us out? I'll do what I can, but not like park rangers are exactly outfitted for trouble, gear-wise. Hell, we have to provide our own pens. I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Talk to you in a second. All right, on one. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. Riley, come in. Over. Yeah, Shelly, I'm, I'm here. Perfect, you sound clear. All right, is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Uh, where is the gate key? Uh, yeah, actually, do you, do you happen to know where the key for the gate is? Over. Trying to get to the beach? It's on the bulletin board, tacked up. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. You do the same. Over and out. Yeah, she seems nice. If Ranger Shelley actually helps us, sure, very nice. I got that. Hey, she did seem nice. <laughs> no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome! That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but you know, hopefully. When you said your dad took you hiking, sorry, it just reminded me. How's uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh, I was at the grocer and he was before me in line. And the clerk asked about you or something. And uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something. Is there a story there or? No. 
The only story is my mom wanted Anna after some Roman empress that fought with her legion on the front lines. But she left, so my dad could call me whatever he wanted. Oh, <laughs> oh there was a page up there. He also, your dad, mentioned how proud he was that you, I guess you just enlisted and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap for what it's worth. I'm sure he was proud. I'm sure he was telling every mechanic and bag boy that his little girl was going to be raining napalm on bad guys any day now. I disappointed him eventually, but at least he got that morning, right? I'm sure he's... yeah. Oh, Olivia wasn't planned for. I wonder if she knows that. Ingrid, I never uh, have been or nor will ever be pregnant, so I can't understand Marigold's struggle, but I do sympathize. We have our plan our lives and then things happen. You say parentage helped her and her husband accept the birth of Olivia, but they provided a structure for the chaos of early parenthood. But Olivia is a person and not a problem to be solved. How will the structure affect her own life? I enjoy our talks, but I think we should not discuss parentage anymore. Admittedly, struggle when the... Hmm. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh, Lord. God, yes. I have heard of the effing parentage. Sorry. On duty. Try to monitor the language. A number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. Sounds harmless, if annoying. I mean, look, they clean up after themselves. It's better than a lot of park visitors. Still, there was this one member, though. She died a few years back. <sighs> Don't know. Wasn't so hippy dippy. More a scary Harry. How so? She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Just some bog standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days, the usual tap dance. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. Super horrific? I'm talking the gritty reboot of the Inquisition. Apparently its founders were a lot less into naked dancing, and a lot more into fire and bodies. But pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. There are sleeping skunks in this area, and they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Over and out. <laughs> Darn kids in there naked dancing in the woods? All right, Horseshoe Beach. There we go. Do, 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 do. All right, where are we? The beach. Okay, so we need to get... Let's go across the beach and uh, up and over. I keep thinking about what they could be doing what they could be trying to do. Parentage, the cult, just with all this. You gotta figure, or at least I'm figuring, there's two possibilities. Either they're a bunch of underbaked human beings making underbaked life choices, just thinking this whole thing's a lark, without really measuring the consequences. Well, Olivia at least seems pretty focused. I just feel like whatever plan they have is baked. She knows what she's doing, or at least why. Or whoever is telling her what to do. Or what if they're right? What if whatever they're trying to do is the right thing to do? Hmm. Uh, hate to be getting in the way of our one true opportunity at eternal salvation. Uh, really? You think so? I mean, I don't know, of course, but you know, they believe in astrology, soul, warping, crap like that. Broken clock twice a day sort of thing. Uh, I don't know though, just postulating. Hmm. I'm also just trying to remind myself that I too was once a dumb asshole teenager who did dumb asshole teenager things. I'm trying to. Maybe not succeeding, but trying. There has never been a single teenager who was also not an asshole. It's, I don't know, biological law. Now, my <laughs> clueless parents would attest to my being a very good kid in high school. They would, but even I have to admit that if someone had told me I could open a portal in the sky, and make things better for myself. I'd have fallen for it. 
probably. Hey, wait, there he is. Hey! Ah, damn it! Stop! Jacob, come on, wait! Dang it, Jacob. Oh, Will you come here? Jacob, wait! Slow up! He's getting away! Hey, Jacob! You there, buddy? I'll take that as a no. Okay. Well, hmm. Jacob ran after Charlie and left me a no. <laughs> okay. Red Rover, Red Rover. Who wants to come over? Oh. Uh. Hello. Are you there? Stay away from shallow water. Their hidden depths could take you under. <laughs> yeah, finally some peace and quiet. Red Rover, do you not want to and now this radio won't stop. I don't want to start without you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting. Ready or not. Here we go. And if you get tired, you can have nap time. But only if you're a good little girl. Tag, tig, tiggy, tips, touch and go, and then you're it. If to play, just say okay. Play what? What What am I supposed to do? Just follow along. Sticks and stones can break my bones. And so can rocks and so can blocks. A tree, maybe? Bloody and red, they'll kill me dead. No more night, no more light. Twenty. Nineteen. Cold. Eighteen. Is it cold in here? Seventeen. Not this tree. Okay. Sixteen. Warm. Move this rock, maybe? Fifteen. Fourteen. Warmer. Thirteen. Twelve. Warmer still. Eleven. Less warm. Ten. Cold. Warm. Nine. Cold. Eight. Warm. Seven. Ah. Uh. There's nothing there. Colder. Warm. Five. Is it cold in here? Warm. Four. Even warmer. Back up to the left? I feel like that's where I just was, though. Yeah, good call. Eeper, weeper, chimney sweeper. Had a wife, but couldn't keep her. Had another, didn't love her. Oh. The body of the woman was found after neighbors complained about a strange smell emanating from the house every time a fire. Warm. 
All right. Now we know we're looking for weird things. Hot. Oh. Weird. Chimney. It's a chimney. It has to be. Correct. Here comes an old soldier from Botany Bay. What have you got to give him today? I'll give him a block. I'll give him a rock. I'll give him a grave. I'll give him a cave. Do you have any information regarding the disappearance of little... Maybe that bit's that big rock up here. Nine. Maybe. Hot. Fire. Eight. Burning. Is there an opening here? The footprints almost look like they go into the wall. Winner. Hickory dickory dock. Who is that hiding behind the rock? You know, I heard that that'd be quiet without Jacob. Ladybird, Ladybird, fly away home. Your children are under the Grindle Stone. Come find me. You have a meeting at five and need some coffee. We'll go get go get some caffeine. Shoe. A shoe. What? What is left? Do you see? I'll miss feeding you. I'll miss when you sat on my lap. Uh, wait, where, where? And most of all, I'll just miss you being around. Goodbye, Lewis. You'll always be my favorite gecko in the world. I've, I, uh, I don't know what to do next. Well, everybody's different, but usually you say some nice words. Funny stories, favorite memories, any you want to tell Lewis? Well, I think my favorite memory is when you threw up on Mom's sandals. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You'd just gone to the store. Please cost me 45 bucks. Yeah, I'd actually forgotten about that. Blissfully forgotten. <laughs> I hadn't. I'm going to miss him so much. I'm really going to miss him. You don't need to hug me. It's fine. I'm fine. What? Are you afraid someone's watching? Nobody's watching. It's not that. It's... I just don't want that. Okay. It's cool, too. Ugh, he's moving so slowly. I'm sorry I'm getting mad. I'm... Yeah, I'm sorry. I hope I die before you do. I don't want to see you like that. Please don't die before I do. Be strong, be here, Please be... just get out of tomorrow. Just be here, kiddo. Just be here. I... I don't like seeing him alone. I... Can't we... Isn't there a way to get him back? I don't like seeing him out there. Maybe we... Maybe I shouldn't have done this. I don't know. I don't like it anymore. He's... Lewis has everything he needs now. No, I want to be with him. I don't want him to be alone. Hey, kiddo, come on. You want to be with him? Wouldn't you miss me? 
Rex? Damn it! Ugh! Damn it! What are you doing? I don't want to see him. I don't want to... Mom? Riley? 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 I was put in another time, I think. In the future, there was a kid there. Kept calling me his mom. His name's Rex. Oh, wow. Uh, what was he like? He was sad, I guess. The memory or the time was sad, but he was sad in a way that was bigger than the moment. It's hard to explain. Never mind, honestly. Let's just... Yeah, never mind. Okay. Jeez. Well, Charlie got away, sorry to say. He took off over the hill, and I thought I was already getting too ahead of myself. Oh, thanks for trying, anyway. I appreciate the effort. Trust me, my lungs do not. <laughs> the path he was on funnels back to Tatiga Falls. So, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll still be there. Come on, let's hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. Come on, Jacob. Oh, sorry, I forgot to kick the rope down earlier. I was, let's call it focused. Yeah, that's diplomatic enough. One AM. All right, where are we? We are at these ruins. We gotta climb this cliff. There he is! Son of a God, these assholes! <laughs> hey, you get back here! Hey! Hey, kid, we need to talk to you, okay? Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, take a little tumble there, pal. All right, yeah. Jacob. <laughs> asshole. Yeah, okay, asshole. You got me. What the hell do you think's gonna happen now, huh? You have no idea what you're messing with. The powers that they've given us? What? You wanna take a swing at me? Take a free shot, gingerbread. I got all night. I won't even move. Land a solid one. Just right hit there. him. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, hold on. Jacob, take a, br take take a, a breath here. Back. We got him. You He's ain't got here. anything, girly. You don't have anything. Do you even know how lost you are out here? Stop yapping. A final warning. Ooh. You're just lucky I missed the step. Don't you don't you understand that whatever you're messing with, it's destroying everything. Reality. It's it's wrecking reality, literally. Maybe reality deserves to be wrecked. What we're doing tonight, it's gonna change our lives. Change everything. Hmm. Hand over the stuff you stole from the ranger station. Oh, this stuff? Oh you dick. Are you kidding me? Oh god, you are an asshole. Takes one to know one. That's it. I've had enough of this, this, whatever this is. I swear to God, if you don't start talking some sense right now, you're going to get your mouth smacked off your goddamn face. Hey, whoa, you understand? I don't speak, dick. Hey. Okay, all right. Enough, Jacob. No, Riley. You don't know how much him and his little twerp patrol have screwed with me over the years. Oh, what? Friggin' pranks? They're not pranks to me. God, I'm sorry. You're acting like a total psycho right now. Me? You joined up with the crazy Jacob, cult. Stop. Just stop, seriously. We're getting... This is getting bad. Getting bad? This night is literally falling apart, and it's this prick's fault. Him and his whole crew. They think they can mess with me and my, my stuff. And now tonight. Just... Just let me talk to him, okay? We don't need all this. Fine. Whatever. Do it your own way. So, what, are you, like, a cop? No, I'm not a cop. 
I'm just trying to fix things. Fix the things that you and your friends broke. Now, tell me why you're breaking things at all, okay? Two sentences, go. We're making things right, and tonight's the only night we can do it. You want more? Yeah, I need more. That's not gonna cut it. Speak in detail. Well, you can forget it. I'm not getting into it. I, I can't. I can't let her down. I just can't, okay? And besides, I need them to help me too. And I'm not about to start messing with that. Not for you. No way. You need whose help? Wh what's going on here? I... wait. Who's... <laughs> Whoa. Uh... Uh... Uh, Charlie? Uh, he's... it's like he's sleepwalking. I don't know. This is nuts. Yo, don't go in the water. Oh. Okay, well... Is there anything down here before we go? Letter. What should we do? We can't just leave him, right? I I know I'm hearing a radio signal. Uh, uh, are you okay, buddy? Maybe there's a way to. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay, he's... There's, there's no blood. Nothing's shattered. I think he's asleep. And not like unconscious, but like sleeping. I mean, that's good, right? I'm jealous. How good does a nap sound right now? I mean, paradise, but I'm just glad he's okay. He had it coming. Sorry, Charlie, that looked rough. <clears throat> Both the falling and everything before it. I'm sorry, but back to the, uh, the, the stealing our future stuff. I mean, sh should we be doing, like, anything about that? How do you, uh, 
want to handle that. Any, uh, any thoughts? Don't worry, Jacob. They won't win. These kids won't win, whatever they're trying to do. Parentage won't win. And those things won't either, okay? Roger. Who's he going to leave him lying there? Let's find a place for him. <laughs> I guess so. And, uh, hey, I, I just want to say sorry about... Sweat it. It's over. Thanks. I just, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that was kind of mean. So, <laughs> if it was your kid, you'd have left him there. We need to get, I guess, this way. It just <clears throat> really got under my skin. I'll be better. Don't worry. He could roll off the bridge. I know if he's if he's asleep. I'm there. Flash of uh, green. What did uh, Maggie say? I saw it. You doubted me. A flash of green right at sunrise. Blink and you'd miss it. Well, I didn't blink. Next time I'm waking you up to watch it with me. You've been warned. Don't worry. I'll have coffee made. Yeah, I don't think go back and get him. We're just going to leave him lying there napping. He's almost, he's almost nine, you're kidding, he has everything on his bed. He tosses and turns a lot. Yeah, I feel like my kid does too. She like, she'll sit up and then, then like flop over and bang her head against the side of her, her crib. Doesn't wake up, but. Can't be comfortable, but. I place that transmitter here. I think it's our best bet. It's the highest point in the area. Well, that we can get to at least. Fingers and thumbs crossed. And toes for good measure. If not for the railing, you have to pick him up several times a night. That's crazy, yeah. Yeah, we'll see when she gets old enough to. Have a, have a small railing. Probably she she likes to climb. Anything she can get to. I feel like even if she doesn't do it accidentally, she might do it on purpose. Here we go. <laughs> <gasps> You're never gonna believe this. I just got a vision from the future. The future. We catch nothing and get takeout for dinner. I guess we gotta go home. Don't want to piss off the, uh, yeah, uh, I can, uh, relate. So is this some alternate future where I, this we character is a kid? the ends don't justify the means, so I'm surprised we're fishing at all. We're not catching anything anyway. Not if we don't use live bait. The guy at the store said so. Remember? Oh, um, what, what are we using? What's the difference? The difference between what we're using and live bait is that our bait is dead. <laughs> Thanks. Mm, this is taking so long. Let's just go to seafood sales, please? trying to be here. Ugh. Can we leave? Please, I'll share my hush puppies. You are young, and life is long, and there is time to kill today. And then one day, you find ten years have got behind you. Get out. This waiting, this is what it's all about. Waiting is what makes this, makes everything worthwhile. Well, it can also still suck. Which it does. <laughs> oh, you owe me so much pizza after this. Oh, pizza. It's funny, yesterday hey, I had pizza. Check it out, I, I, I think I got one. Almost got him. Nice. Oh, can we fry him? Is that a thing? 
I want to eat him tonight. Now nah, we're throwing it back. Bad enough the guy has a hook in his mouth. Oh, and I was like, I do not. I ate too much pizza. I don't want any more pizza. And now today I want more pizza. It's, it's terrible. Mom. Uh. Oh. Mom? Mom? Okay. Anybody there? Hello, Jacob. So, do, 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 those two are good. So we need to, I guess we should talk to Evelyn maybe. No response, okay. Yeah, I had pizza for lunch yesterday and then I ate too much pizza and I was like, I don't want pizza for a while. And now suddenly it's the next day and I want more pizza. Okay, the kid's gone, so we got up and wandered off. Are we, Riley, oh my God. Are we gonna just leave this interdimensional you, portal over, over here? Alive too? Hey, it's okay, man. Take a second. I, okay, I'm trying to take it. Hmm, I would take all the seconds, but <sighs> I just want to get out of here. Charlie must have left, or I, I don't know what. I don't care. What about finding Charlie? Jesus, we chased the kid halfway through the freaking county. Yeah, and we found him, and then, you know, nightmare. So seriously, screw Charlie, screw this waterfall, screw everything. We plan on the transmitter. We're done here. We're leaving here. Okay. Uh, oh, man, that was brutal. I keep seeing this, like, this kid. And he knows me, and yeah. You're not getting that? No. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing, but I'm apologizing. Sorry. All right, so can we talk to Evelyn yet? Hey, Evelyn. The second transmitter is planted. Any news? Riley? Hey, sorry. I'm the last one here. The rest decided to hike back to the hotel. One too many calls from weird voices, I think. Finally pushed Jim out the door. All right, let me look at these readings. Okay, this is... Oh, wow. So, wave particles in water move perpendicularly to the wave's direction of travel. And airwaves oscillate in the same direction. These frequencies are moving in every direction. That's not normal. Or possible. Over. Uh, so what does that what does mean? it mean? Never. It means things aren't right. Well, I could have told you the that. The rate of decay <laughs> on these, it's... This is unbelievable. Oh, crap, my mom is calling me. Crap. I haven't heard from my sister yet, and she... She's gonna ask if I talk to her. I'm getting really worried, but... My mom's gonna flip. Uh, crap. I don't know what to do. The truth is worth it, Evelyn. If only because if something did happen... It's a lot better to have been upfront about it from the beginning. Over. Yeah, I, I think you're right. God, okay, this call is going to suck. Sorry, Riley, I have to take this. I'm still here for you whenever you need to chat. Over and out. All right. <clears throat> oh, look, it says that a, a house, a cabin, was here in the 30s, but... A passing transient accidentally burned it down when failing to extinguish his cigarette. Yikes. Only you can prevent forest fires, kids. Hmm, it's interesting. Didn't know that. All right, so if that's good, we need to... We need to get all the way back over here somehow. And figure out how to get to the ghost town. Could go wrong. Charlie, are you are you there? Over. Violet? Well, hey Riley, hold up a second. Listen to this. I'm I don't know what happened, but I ran into that lady in gingerbread. <laughs> the lady stopped Jacob from like getting into a fight with me, practically. Oh, really? 
Yeah, they showed up near me too. It was a nightmare. God, I'm heading to the church now. Over. Stop talking on open air! Shut up! Wait, wait, wait. But is the is the plan to still run the radio station and kill their transmitter array? Oh. Over. Shut up! Seriously! There is no plan. But there is no plan. Bye. Over and out. Um, did they say something about so, is that true, what they were saying, that they can somehow disrupt our transmitters? Um, technically. They mentioned a radio station, that they can hijack the frequency, or broadcast the station's signal in the right way. Yeah, it could smother our array. Which, uh, isn't good, obviously. Okay, but what would that have to do with the church? That's where they said they're going, right? They're talking about... They have to be talking about the community center. That group, Parentage, that took over the lease. And sometimes they rent out the space, but... Parentage puts out a weekly address. It's like public access, but worse. Super strange stuff. I, I think they're going to use whatever equipment they have to try and screw up our night. Mm. You know, you know, if we can get to their equipment and turn it off, or just break it first, I mean, they're not there yet. Olivia's friend's screwed up. I know it sounds caveman, but I think it's the only option we have. All right. A uh, counterthought. What if they beat us there? Uh, well... We can't let that happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, Lighthouse Community Center. Uh, community Center. All right. Let's so go back to town and then across the bridge. I mean, I'm just glad there's a full moon tonight. This game would be very dark and dingy if there was no moon out in the middle of the night. <clears throat> all right, so we need to get let's all back over and cross these falls here. Then, come on, Jacob. You know, when I first heard about the frequencies, the the weird radio chatter, I thought, man. Maggie, really onto something. Way before any of the rest of us was. And this is weird, I know, but I couldn't help but think about how I'll be looked at later by anyone who knew me. The, the, the lonely old hermit who was right once. I just don't want my life to be defined by inertia. If that makes sense. It won't be, Jacob. At least not if I'm around to tell the townsfolk your stories. You'll be perceived more like a, a troll snatching school children from under bridges. <laughs> oh, good. I have visions of me in the future, different dogs, different shows on the TV. But I, I can't tell. <laughs> I haven't done anything. I don't talk to my brother in New York really ever, and I think it's because he feels bad for me. I think when those thought bubble bubbles pop up, your the other character is thinking about you, but I can't quite tell if it's good thoughts or bad thoughts, or just thoughts. I just hope he's wrong. Like, oh, she's way. a dick, or... <laughs> uh, well, you're sure as hell doing a lot tonight. Kamina would probably... Um, I guess we need to go up and down, We'd be then, consumed maybe? consumed with time ghosts if you hadn't been around to help stop it. Thanks, Riley. I'll quote you on the Christmas card I'll send him this year. Do do. I'm here. Um, over. I've been getting calls from local residents, um, concerning sightings, I guess. People reporting seeing a, what I would assume is a sort of bioluminescence out in the storm. They're not talking about the situation above Edwards Island. 
This is something else, but it's hard to get a visual from my station, even with the binoculars. Have you seen anything like glowing objects? Uh. Of varied sizes. Uh, they could be talking about other uh, portals. And when I say portal, I mean literally a portal. It's a triangle cut in the sky. There's uh, more than one. We're just going to be honest here. <sighs> Okay. Uh, we'll keep a lookout for any creepy people in masks running around. They're uh, kind of the bad guys here. Okay, good to know. I'll see if I see anybody. I'll check back in with you, whether or not I see anything. Over and out. Do 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 do. Hey there, Nick. Find a hobby. Over. Well, that's settled on different. I'm an amateur sailor, you know, but I read books. And if you're learning to sail, the first thing you'll read is... The ocean is never still. Never trust calm water. But tonight, that's all there is. It's still as a cup of water. Never seen such a thing. Still, like, frozen? It's not that cold, right? Over. Right, no, not frozen. I wouldn't be in motion if it was. And yet, merrily I roll along. Uh, common sense would have me steer back home, but, uh, I should see what's out there. I'm going to need a tether, though, so if you don't mind, just reach out on the semi-regular. Make sure I haven't come... Completely gone ass over tea kettle. All right, Riley, you keep an eye on the dirt. I'll keep one on the drink. <laughs> okay, Nick. <laughs> yeah, you old sea dog. Is that a C, like a C rating from the health department? Can't be good. All right. <clears throat> I uh, think we might have gotten here first. Seems pretty quiet. Just uh, follow me. It's right here. Not for seafood. Is this gate normally open? Uh, not this late. Olivia might have beaten us here. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Great soundtrack. Two AM. It's been a long night. Said seeing the third blue moon. Hello? Okay, we're in the clear. So, if we're right, there's radio equipment around here somewhere. Let's just find it and destroy it before they get here. We can start upstairs, or just wander. Yeah, let's just look. We don't need to spend time making a game plan. Hey, you don't have to sell me. Now, if I were a radio station transmitter with a long-range antenna, where would I hide? Probably upstairs? Yeah, I, mean, I know they right must upstairs, broadcast maybe. Theory, but from which broom closet? Doesn't help that it's so dark. Wonder what kinds of performances they put on. Not seeing radio stuff, but this uh, star map is interesting. 
It's a lunar calendar, too, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's... Huh. Is it a lunar calendar? What are those symbols? Wait, I remember now. Those markings when we walked in, they looked so familiar. I've seen these around town a lot, and, and they always looked kind of, you know, amateurish. Like young people made them, and, and with a purpose and a sequence. I think it's how Olivia and them communicate. Are you saying that they copied these, or, or what? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just wonder what any of this has to do with... Hello, hello. Are we all shimmering tonight? Yesterday evening, the world had its first glimpse of the far side of the moon. Are you saying they, they copied these, or, or what? Oh, I hate when they do this. Let's just find that station equipment before anything uh, happens. Yeah, good call. Where's the antenna? Where's the... Well, found the antenna. Looks too sturdy to damage, honestly. Yeah, looks like it's from the 50s. Or 40s? A military tech from that era looked very similar. This stuff is made out of alloys that ain't gonna bend. Let's find the control panel that works it. Oh, oh! This is one of those... We, we used to call them casters in the army. It's a radio with a broader range. It'll work on, on that lock back in Garland. Ooh, radio cool. locks. Oh, awesome. Upgrade. Wow, this is odd. Parallaxing can happen even when waning. There's a, a construction paper clock here that goes to 32 in the morning. And, oh, a photo of a bumper sticker that says, Reach for the stars. Really? That's odd. Kind of silly, to be honest. No coffee machine. Cool, guys. Door says observatory, but it should say locked observatory. That isn't how you spell observatory, whoever wrote that, but it's close. <laughs> I would say it looks like craft show art, but craft show art has more intensity. Imported from the finest chandeliers are us, I'm sure. All right, so if the control is not up there, where is it? I mean, a key here somewhere? Hey, this looks like a, an altar. Or something. What's planet shine? Oh, I don't know. I like the uh, flowers. Hey, Jacob, I have to ask, what's going on here? I'm not getting a vibe here, you know? This isn't nefarious. It's just not. This is people who've taken stargazing past, you know, like what some people would call normal levels, but... But it's not... Really? Yeah. I know what you mean. It's all just a little too... Um... Too gemstony? Sure. Yeah, but... Uh, ah, whatever, so they're not evil. They don't appear to be. Yeah, they still play bad music on Sunday, so let's find out where and rip out the circuitry. We try <clears throat> from the lower side here. Or the cable. How's the weather, Nick? How's the water? Like glass. I don't mean see-through. I mean sharp. The water, it looks... jagged. Like you're cutting yourself to shreds swimming in it. How is that possible? You took my life. All I know is I'm sailing through it smoothly, so, hey, gift horse, mouth. A drop did splash its way up, though. Cut me right on the eyelid. Put gauze on it. Nothing like blood on the pupil to wake you right up. <laughs> You're a proper pirate now. Let's find you a parrot. Maybe some scurvy for kicks. I'll name it Riley if I do. Still floating. Appreciate the check-in. Keep your eyelids safe, kid. Over and out.
Ooh, we get a lot more frequency now, don't we? Wow, holy crap. Hey, this looks like something. A cable running the length of the center? Must be connecting the antenna outside to something under us. The hidden laboratory, I presume? All right, I need to take a quick bio break and grab some more water and I'll be right back. I think we gotta go down. I think that cable tracks all the way to here. Something feels off about the floor. It feels hollow, right? Little help here, Jacob? Alright, maybe not. Stand there. Slouching. Ooh, look. See? This goes down to a basement. The lock looks strange. There's no keyhole or combo. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. How would they ever open it? God, I know something's down there. You don't lock the cellar unless there's a monster to hide. Or radio stuff. Aha! See? I knew the radio from upstairs would come in handy. There's a radio lock on the panel here. It's old military tech from like the 50s. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. But we can use this radio with its broader range to tune in its code and unlock it. Um, theoretically. Oh yeah, I think Maggie actually had something to do with these. I'm, I'm not entirely sure though. Let's try it. so dangerous and the retirement plan will never come i think if man's creations could withstand the destructive force of time i would still carry certain aspirations but Awesome. That's some fine radio unlocking. Yeah, great. Cross your fingers, there's not just a bunch of old blankets <clears throat> down there. I gotta remember she's so deadpan in her response. Like, yeah, great, whatever. <clears throat> oh, sorry. The dust is getting to me. Nice little bunker down here. Wait, yeah, jackpot. Now look at this stuff. That's a Rhino 320. Oh, a control board for the station. Check out the antenna cord going up through the floor. She would have won beauty contests in 1978, but not so much now. Okay, let's uh, let's smash it or uh, something. Shame it to wreck it, really. Olivia gets here. Man, it's a shame to just wreck it, you know. But doing the Lord's work is never easy. <laughs> no, it is not.
can't you just, you know, turn it off or, you know, hide the power cables? It's oh, okay. Something? Whoops. I guess the cult members will need to get their traffic updates from some other source no, now. Too bad. Look around. Let me tell well, you, where, that felt a little bit. A lot. A lot. Good. It wasn't in your shed. Yeah, no. keep quiet. I want to hear this. The shed. It wasn't in the shed because he doesn't keep it in the shed. Wait, Olivia, I thought we were here to broadcast the... Yes, we're here to cancel out their stupid transmitter array. But if we don't also fix our antenna, blocking out their signal won't help us. And your uncle has a... a toolbox somewhere? He did at one point, but now I guess he keeps coming up. Why would your uncle have a tool to fix to our antenna? antenna? Because he's an electrician. That's what he does. It's his job. Electricians fix this kind of thing? No, but he has the battery we need and a wrench. Uh, okay. Just trust me. Right out. And don't touch anything. A lot of stuff's been blessed by Earth. We should just confront them and get it over with. It. We know why they're here. I don't okay. think eavesdropping will really help us. Stuff, hey, your call. I'm fine. Just anything. listening. Cause one, just be careful. We need to get what we need to get and go. Bad luck even being in here without a steward. What are we looking for again? A small gray toolbox. Has a smiley face sticker on it. We just need it. Believe me. What is all this stuff? What stuff? Are are you touching anything? No, just what's it for? For a lot of very important things. I wonder if we can find the toolbox before them. Uh, where could he have put the damn tool? What was that? Ah, crap. Is, is that? Riley, are you in here? Okay, let's take a breath. Take a breath? Oh, I had the door open. Devotional, you just disgusting piece of garbage. Do you have any idea where you are? This building, these walls are sacrosanct. Infused with planet shine. You don't okay. deserve it. I know you're upset, Olivia, but let's talk, okay? We're here. Let's talk. Talk? <laughs> I don't talk to earthworms. Earthworms wouldn't be able to understand. Understand what? What are you even trying to do? Is parentage? Parentage has no idea I'm even here. My aunt and uncle are clueless. They never approve of the ceremony. It's off chart. I'm taking it myself. Olivia. Charlie, take them down. You have your knife, right? My knife? Are you kidding me? You brought it! To, like, cut branches in the woods. Okay, whoa, slow down. This is getting insane. Charlie, focus up! Don't listen to their bullcrap! Come on! She was nice to me before. What does that even mean, nice? I really don't want to hurt anyone, Olivia. I mean, I know what I said before. Charlie, there's nobody here that can make you do anything you don't want to do. I gave you a second chance at the waterfall. Show me you earned it. I... God. Olivia, I'm... Olivia, I, I don't like this. Who gives a crap what you like? I, I don't. I, I'm not quitting, but... But what, Violet? Okay, just leave her alone, Olivia. Hasn't she been through enough tonight? Haven't we all been through enough? Nothing has even happened yet. It's all noise and fury. They haven't fixed it. Tonight is the blue moon. Yanis is aligned. Don't you get it? This is once every 10, no, 20 years. And once this is done, we're all set. Absolutely nothing is going to- I'm, Hold on. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I'm out. What? I just don't know what this is going to do anymore. You know what it's going to do? It's going to do everything! Olivia. In many forms of games, being out of bounds refers to being outside the available playing area and can result in severe penalties. Shut up! Right. Please. Please. Oh. Hello. Please. Well, enough. Hello. You will not triumph. You will not reach even if we must push you out. Hey! Whoa. You're turning off the power. Why? Flicking a switch isn't scary, guys. God. Okay. Olivia, what? Hey, lady. I don't know what the f*** you think you're doing here, but this ain't your house. Huh? Look, it's an ensign. What do those little triangles do again? They're keys to opening the door. Oh, great. Olivia, find find and seek. And we can shelter you. It's a particle of grace. Luna is speaking to us. Wait, Olivia, 
If you both want out, then go. I know my place in this universe. Wait, Olivia, stop! Crap, Riley, we have to stop her. Get a radio. What the heck? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I... Come on! Where'd the radio go? Hey, this sucks. Can we stop this, please? I see the radio. It's over. Crap, it's... Riley! It's Riley! Going for it. Ow! Move. Fine! Fine! Jesus! get up there. I will not be extinguished by the likes of you. I will see my parents again. I will get to Planet Shine. Will be beholden to the power. Yeah, maybe I just didn't click the right spot on that banister to get up there. <clears throat> Riley, Riley, wait, I think we. Well, crap. Uh, are you. Are you. Are you alright? This sucks, right? It sucks. You hate it, I hate it. Nobody wants to shoot their friends to death. Nobody wants to feel trapped. I'm sorry. Tonight's progressed to the point where I can speak a little more freely. My name's Alex. Wait. You're not from the submarine? The Kanaloa? No, but they're around. Some of them, anyway. It hasn't all been us. Mostly. We were teenagers, like Olivia and her friends. And we were trapped between spaces, between time, by events. You know, my understanding back then. Now, though, we found Olivia. Or rather, she found us. And she will be our key to coming back. She doesn't want to live here anymore, Riley. You have to understand, it's a fair trade. Our time for hers. It's what she wants. So you have to let that go. And just accept what you Your plan with the transmitters is a good one. It is. It might just stop us, if that's what you want. Do you know what you want, Riley? Do you? Because I've traveled a million miles and a million more years just to watch you eat breakfast. Uh, 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 all right, uh, the, that, that was real, right? I was just, uh, that was real. Yes. God. All this time, I thought it was the submarine. I thought, I thought that everything was just them. That they were the beings Olivia was talking to. But it's kids. Just kids. It, it's, it's kids that go to Kamina High. I probably did lawn work for their parents. I, I don't know. It just changes things. I think they're really stuck. And we're fighting them off. It just, it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe any of this is really happening. Jacob, this doesn't change anything. Whether or not they were in study hall or worried about boys or grounded when they died, 
They're still the same beings that have been messing with us all night. And we'll destroy things, destroy other lives if we don't act. Yeah, y yeah, I know. It's it's just a lot. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, never mind. Garland, right? That's the last location. We should head out because Olivia teleported away, and God knows where she's going. I we wonder what happened if we before, did st could stop her. Or this is really a problem. If we can't stop her. If we did stop her, then we wouldn't know all that all those plot points. It was interesting. I wonder if we couldn't stop her. Well, I feel like there might have been a thing that popped up at the last second at the, that lower corner by the banister, like you said. So. All right, so we got to get to the Garland now. We have that radio, so we can do it. Uh, yeah, could we? Sorry, but but could could we just take a breather for a second? Here? Jacob. Okay, not that <laughs> tune. I know, but like, I got to take a second. Uh, we're not done yet. I think the reason people count eggs and not chickens is precisely for scenarios exactly like this. No, I know. I just, uh, one minute here. So, parentage is just moon gazing and yoga mats. That's good to know, I guess. They actually remind me of another group like them. The Migration? I remember when they were pitching tents in the 90s. But the actual act? The natural act? Migration. Pretty interesting. How baby birds do it instinctively. So sometimes programming, like bird programming, has a glitch. And birds will actually fly north, you know, instead of south. And the ones that do, they, you know, they hook up. And suddenly, we have a whole new generation of birds going the wrong way. You know, I wonder about the other birds, the ones flying the natural way when they see birds going in the opposite direction. And I just wonder how many of them change their mind, turn around. I wonder how many of them find a different way. <sighs> you know, this reminds me of that story. What? I'm pregnant. <laughs> uh, beg pardon? I found out before I took the job. I'm two months. And your hearing is fine. That it is. Uh... Congratulations? I'm sorry, is this a balloons and yay type of thing? Or a... Let me, uh... Yeah, let me know that. Uh, oh, I don't... Is it? No balloons. Copy that. Uh... Okay. I am understanding more why you'd want to take this job. Security, you know? I, I sense the security. Maybe you're planning to move back. I don't know. Actually, actually, I'm gonna, I don't know why I'm talking so much. So, I'm just gonna take one colossal, uh, metaphorical step back and let you drive our, uh, little chat here. Starting now. Step taken. Look, Jacob, I just needed to say it out loud. I haven't told anyone yet. You're technically not supposed to before three months, but whatever. Uh, if you don't already know, which one would you prefer, a boy or a girl? I, I have no idea when you can, you know, uh, identify. Look, if it's human, I'm happy. They <laughs> can sort the rest of it. And, uh, any names? And if I'm prying, please say so. I'll just immediately stop talking. I was actually thinking Rex. A little boy named Rex? That sounds great. It will look awesome on a Little League sheet. Why that one? It is their name. I feel like it. Dinosaurs? I I just feel like it... Uh, I can't really explain it. <clears throat> well, it'll definitely stand out. I mean, I can count on no hands how many Rexes I've ever met. So, uh, bird's eye, how do you... You know, feel overall about it. Uh, um, about, uh, them. Petrified and just 
every way possible, and more ways to be invented, I'm sure. Yeah, sure, but hey, how often are things as scary as we think they're gonna be, you know? I mean, tonight is a bad example, but still. Uh, uh, maybe this is weird, but um, thanks for telling me. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Not many now. Lucky me. Boy, night of surprises. But it's uh, it's nice to have one that's different in a good way. Yeah, I don't think we know. Um, Wait. Last transmitter. I think I know a good spot. Do we know her last name? I feel like it starts with a P, maybe? I don't know. I think we said, may have said it once. Rex it, Riley. Yeah, I don't know the last name. See what I can find out? Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Call me if you need anything or uh see anything. Over and out. Hmm. She was still trying to experiment with this stuff, even then. Mel, I still can't believe the progress we've seen making and yet uh we've been making it. Yes, it feels like we've barely begun climbing. Between your theories about the potential of the electromagnetic field and the technology we're developing, I feel illuminated. The bright light of possibility. I'm hoping for our next experiment we could try a new location, though I must say the silent audience of headstones is soothing to me, however, however strange it must be. Hey, Shelly, I want to know more about parentage. Oh, hey, Riley. I, I just finished the skunk spill. Okay, parentage. I mean, this is second hand off someone who smelled like they were carved from gin, but still. So I guess parentage goes back like centuries. And a good few of them. There was this freak lightning storm once over Edwards Island, just out of nowhere. This was right in the middle of a wicked drought, so as soon as lightning touched ground, everything caught on fire. And every one. Hundreds of skeletons. At least that they were able to count. Uh, so someone decided to make a religion out of this? Well, this is where it goes from bananas to nuts, depending on your definitions. Apparently, during that fire, this, like, thing showed up in the sky. Hmm. So, either that's a new species of bird we're naming after me, or that is a phone ringing, uh, somewhere. Fingers crossed for the former. Okay, we just hit a major bingo square. A pay phone ringing in the wild? Yeah, I should go inside and buy a lottery ticket. Hello? Oh, dude, you better be packing hand sanitizer. Uh, hello? Cause for alarm. What concern? Not to cabin. More. My own and more of my love and sister. Sister born. Wait, are you are are you saying the park ranger and you are related or? Hmm. 
That must have been about the park ranger. That message on her answering machine was trying to lead us here, so we would tell her something. It sounded like, at least. We should call her on the walkie, let her know what happened. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a good idea. I think ranger Shelley, it's connection. Riley, over. So, whenever you want. Riley, hey, find out anything about that answering machine message I got? Over. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I think a ghost of a dead relative is, is trying to warn you. So, if you have an uncle that served on the Canaloa, maybe think about not leaving your station for the rest of the night. Over. I do. I, yeah, I have a great uncle. He was a sonar, I think. Well, crud. Said I shouldn't leave the station anymore? I was just about to... I was just about to go do a check on another distress call. Do you, do you, do you not think I should go? I sound stupid. Just uh, asking, don't go. But don't go, Shelly. Seriously, it's not worth the risk. I'd listen to it. Over. Uh, this is so dumb. But uh, okay, sure, sure, fine, fine. I'm, I'll stay put. I can radio in some support from other stations. See if they can cover. Uh, I hope this isn't some... I just hope this is something real. Okay, Riley. Radio if you need anything. And thanks for this. Over and out. Unless they're just trying to not get her out of the way, I don't know. These feel a little more considered than random stray thoughts, but okay, Maggie. Ingrid, stray thoughts considered this an addendum to our last conversation. I have no religion. I cannot say it is in pursuit of knowledge, as I gave up the, ch the chase quite a while ago. My father was devout, my mother less so. I patterned after her. Faith in a system where I cannot see its purpose is hard for me. What is the purpose of chemical existence? I never read a satisfactory answer. Mayhem is the order in which the universe was founded. I think the stories we take from Mayhem... <clears throat> oh, shoot, if all these, all these notes have backs on them, whoops. <laughs> The stories we take from the mayhem are trying to line up the events in a way that makes sense for our sanity. I'm happy for anyone who finds peace in this ocean. I'm happy to parentage gives us some peace. I'm not exactly jealous, but perhaps I should be. Hey, Shelly, I want to know more about parentage. Oh, hey, Riley. I, I just finished the skunk spill. Okay, parentage. I mean, this is secondhand. We've already someone. seen no. this. We've already like heard we this, Shelly. All right, so we need to get up to this tunnel. Well, I guess parentage goes back like centuries. Oh, it cut off, yeah. Of Maybe it's... There was this freak lightning storm once over Edwards Island, just out of nowhere. This was right in the middle of a wicked drought, so as soon as lightning touched ground, everything caught on fire. And every one. Hundreds of skeletons. At least that they were able to count. Uh, so someone decided to make a religion out of this? goes from bananas to nuts depending on your definitions apparently during that fire this like thing showed up in the sky like this i don't know shape the woman was mighty slurry at this point something opened in the sky and showed paradise on the other side while the earth below it was an actual burning hell a triangle or i don't know she was just shy of intelligible over heck of a tall tale i was captivated I mean, once I got past the belching every other sentence, a vision of paradise. Just that, there and gone, an open and shut door. Those who survived called that vision Planet Shine, and decided to form a group to recreate it. And thus, parentage was born, with ash on their tongues. Hmm. Over. How'd they get that name? Search me <clears throat> on that one. My mom is, like, weirdly obsessed with Frankenstein, so people are freaks, you know? The old lady told me that for, like, years and years after, they tried to recreate that night. As best they could. So, no lightning, but plenty of fire. And plenty of bodies. For years. Over. Some people didn't, you know, catch them in the act or something? I'm sure they did, and I'm sure they were set on fire. The long and short of it, it never happened again. The shape in the sky, I mean... Surprise, surprise. People dropped out, membership went kaput, the thing, uh, 
ran its course. A couple of diehards, but no more, you know, bodies. No more sacrifices. No more ash. Over. Well, I, I mean, you say that, but what about the old lady? Clearly, not everyone changed their minds. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. I don't know. There are people who think indoor plumbing is a mortal sin, so... You're always gonna find one hanger-on, I guess. But their history. The, you know, the corpses. Lost to the ages. Well, except for one slurring grandmother in a back seat. Anyway, don't believe everything you read. I'm getting a call, so see you when I hear you. Over and out. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, we only heard part of it. Most of when I loaded into a new area, it kind of got gooped up. All right, so we need to get up here. We need to take this tunnel, I think. So, can I ask you the dumbest question in the world? And I, I mean the dumbest. Dumb. Embarrassing. Throw a sad rock. Yeah, sure. Why not? Because it's dumb. It's the dumbest. Jacob, but, but just get to asking. the point. Do you uh, want to be friends after this? And like just friends. Legit. No prefixes. And not even like best friends. More like it's 3 a.m. I need a cheeseburger and a cherry danish. Who would join me on this quest? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. But dude, that is not the dumbest question. Do you want to be my friend? What am I, nine? I, I'm happy with your answer, but still, it's a dumb question. But I'm still happy. So, we are officially friends without prefixes. What do we call this new friendship? It needs a title. For, for, uh, you know, the record? You already named it perfectly. We are 3 a.m. food friends. That's, like, a thing. Or, rather, we're making it a thing. Right now. Hell yeah, 3 a.m. food friends. Yes, thing made. All right, well, let's survive the night. And maybe someday we can get drunk playing mini golf. Nice. <laughs> okay. Unlock this gate. Yeah, we should be able to open this lock now with our newfangled radio, just like we did with the one Parentage was using. Oh, great. We got lucky there. Pick the wrong direction. Did I go by too quickly? Can't just spin the wheel, huh? my mind that someone had to uh, invent the bridge like i know they happen naturally lightning hits a tree and it falls down and all that but at least once at one point there was some guy looking at a river going hey wait a second we can just go over it they uh they put this one up in the late 1800s i guess that's why i'm thinking about it how people must have looked at it the bridge and for some people it was their only way to work maybe it was where they had their first kiss right the first fist fight where they proposed but now that bridge doesn't mean anything it's just uh, you know I, I don't know it just makes you think i don't want to live forever but i don't want to die forever either you know what i mean i don't want to be actual nothing you know but an eternal consciousness is just as scary
And then sometimes you could just say nothing, and maybe nothing is the right thing to do. It's like, it's, it's, I don't know. Don't know. Just let him uh, philosophize there. Alright, so we need to get up maybe a, the top of the church? Oh, hey. See that? Not the church, but the behind the church. That's part of the old mine system. We could probably get up there if we find the other end of the tunnel. Hmm. Which, you know, big if. I feel like you literally pointed past a more obvious choice. What I mean is that the ledge up there seems like the best spot to drop the transmitter. To me. But full transparency, I honestly just wanted to suggest the plan A before it became, let's climb the rickety church tower. Maybe you have other ideas. Oh. Uh, well, I guess we can do whatever we want then. Or it's locked. Locked. Story of my life. Huh. Okay. Well, less than ideal. So, uh. Come on, there's a way. There has to be. Or uh, we'll just keep saying that till we figure out there isn't. Sure. Eighteen forty-eight to eighteen ninety-two, eighteen seventy to eighteen ninety-two, eighteen sixty-one to eighteen ninety-two. Almost all of these over here died in eighteen ninety-two. Yeah, similar story over here. Something bad, I guess. Gold rush era town. I wonder what happened. Do you Riley, are you there? What do you want, Olivia? Over. I saw you losers walking in. But you totally didn't notice me. Oblivious. Caught up in your own crap. No one and nothing else could possibly exist. What are you doing in Garland? I tried to get some replacement tech off those, uh, whatever the hell they are. It's all bolted together, so I broke it instead. But look, you have no idea what you're trying to, like, prevent. You can't stop the weather, it's the equinox. You know what that means? You know that thing you saw in the sky? To you, it's the ocean. And you're trying to build a dam with twigs. It's a waste of time. And it won't work. Okay? What are you even trying to do? I'm a little confused because all I saw are some kids running around in masks. Even if I wrote you a book, you wouldn't comprehend it. Listen, I'm going to save you some trouble because I know you're just dying to say. You think you know everything, but you're young and blah, 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 vomit, choke, die. But here's my secret. I know that I don't know everything. I don't know how ketchup works, so save it. Uh, there's not much to the condiment, just tomatoes and sugar. Probably some food dye. Go put some tomatoes in a pot and sprinkle sugar on top. See if you make ketchup. My point is, <laughs> I know one thing, one thing for sure. I know what I want. I know it. And I know I can get it. And I think that's a lot more than most people. Do you know what you want, Riley? Think about that. Hmm. Parentage was trying to recruit... Maggie Adler or something? Let's see. Ingrid, well, I appreciate your attempts to rouse this old sleepwalker. I don't think Parentage is the group I need. I'm sure they're good people. You're good people. But I don't really need a social club, and particularly one with such obscure beliefs. I know you said I could ignore the bells and whistles, as you put it, but the star maps and all that, but I can't help but feel uneasy with the things they choose to call important. Changing the context of your perspective is manipulation, Ingrid, even if that's uh, for an ostent ostensibly good purpose. Regardless, at the end of the evening, oh, what an annoying person. I, almost I don't annoyed. know how to turn the page over, Sorry. apparently. Yeah, let's hurry it up. This is the one Olivia messed with. I see shoe prints, fresh ish ones. Yeah, you're right. Man, rude. You know how much some of this stuff costs? Rude and rude. I see benches and some kind of weird flag with a pickaxe. NWMA Garland chapter. Oh, okay. I think I can guess. No, no. Northwestern. Riley, answer. Come on, manners. Riley? Uh, yes. Back into mildew. You notice that's all that stupid town Garland is? No 
wonder it was abandoned. It deserved it. You're like really negative. Anybody ever tell you that? No, I'm really <laughs> honest. People like to mix up the two when they don't want to face the truth. I like your vest, by the way. I could never find one I liked. That wasn't like ten thousand dollars. Thrift store, actually. You'd be amazed what you can find in them. <sighs> With all the bed bugs I can eat, I'll bet. It's a shame we'll never be friends. I mean, aside from the fact that you're like 50 or Squeeze whatever, me. <laughs> they tell me you're dependable, reliable, have a big heart. Whatever that means. They say you're a real peach. We could still be friends, you know. And I'm actually a hundred. I just have good genes. Uh, no, we can't be friends. Not when I'm done here. It's too bad. I can never find anyone who liked vests as much as me. Maybe in the next life, you know? Maybe then all our dreams will come true and look great doing so. Maybe. This is some kind of equipment. Uh, I can't tell what it's monitoring. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Is it uh, on or working? Whatever it is? I don't think so. Nothing's, you know, lit or whirring inside. Wonder what that cable is connected to. And what it's for. Well, let's go find out. Uh, go down here. Hello? Oh no, are we bugged out again? Do I need to do some strange alt tabbing ritual? You haven't wanted a cheeseburger at 3 a.m. is never. Yeah. Yeah. I was awake at 4 a.m. today, but I just wanted to go back to bed. All right, so why can't we get? Why can't we go down this ladder? Now, cold pizza—that's a different story. Yeah, like cold pizza is always can't go wrong with cold pizza. All right, so are we gonna say this might be busted? All right, what the heck? No other way down here. Okay, this is how my mind works. I just remembered something. Knock, knock. Oh, fine. Who's there? Howie. Howie who? How are we going to hide this dead body? Get it? Yeah, that was uh, beautiful. I know. It's great, Jacob. Really, really proud of you. trying to lighten the... Never mind. Well, I don't know. Considering the weird bug we had at the elevator, I'm inclined to say this might be a bug. Because we got something like, like a down and like into the old mine tunnel down here, but maybe we can go down this way. Maybe we can go down this way. Game doesn't seem to let me over there. Weird. All right. Is there another way? Oh, there's like a little thing here. Maybe we need to go back up top. 
Although, it looks like the ladder goes all the way down, so I don't know. <clears throat> maybe she, maybe Olivia broke it or something. Let's see. You know, I feel like something is something is wrong here. Yeah, something is something is not right. Oops. Closed. Checks. There we go. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we need to go back to the main menu. And hopefully the game saved recently. Yeah, so far the two bugs we've encountered, assuming that was a bug, have been almost game breaking. Are you serious? We're way back here. What is with these auto saves? Holy crap. That's too bad. <laughs> Yeah, we should be able to open this lock now with our newfangled radio, just like we did with the one Parentage was using. Oh, great. We got lucky there. Yeah, I had to reload. I don't know. I was like stuck in that area. I could not go. I could not leave. I could not go back. And the game does not autosave very frequently, apparently, which sucks. You know, it always blows my mind. Oh, well, I have to have Jacob's bridge conversation again. <laughs> like I know that happened naturally. Lightning hits a tree and falls down. All right, let's go a little faster. Once, at one point, there was some guy looking at a river, going, "Hey, wait a second, we can just go over it." They uh, they put this one up in the late 1800s. I guess that's why I'm thinking about it. How people must have looked at it, the bridge. And for some people, it was their only way to work. Maybe it was where they had their first kiss, right? The first fist fight, where they proposed. But now, that bridge doesn't mean anything. It's just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It just makes you think. I don't want to live forever. But I don't want to die forever either. You know what I mean? I don't want to be actual nothing, you know? Living forever is definitely scarier. Just persisting on and on without end uh, no thanks it's a uh it's a conundrum okay i think we need to go down this way and i could because i couldn't get back up here to go down here it was like i don't know oh hey see that not the church but the behind the church that's part of the old mine system we could probably get up there if we find the other end of the tunnel which you know big if i feel like you literally pointed past a more obvious choice what I mean is that the ledge up there seems like the best spot to drop the transmitter, to me. But full transparency, I honestly just wanted to suggest the plan A before it became, let's climb the rickety church tower. Maybe you have other ideas. Yep, I'm on board. Let's find the other end. Hey, you're the one with the transmitters. Riley, are you there? What do you want, Olivia? Over. I saw you losers walking in. But you totally didn't notice me. Oblivious. Caught up in your own crap. No one and nothing else could possibly <laughs> exist. Oh yeah? How'd I look? Old. <laughs> I tried to get some replacement tech off uh, whatever the hell they are. It's all bolted together. So I broke it instead. But look, you have no idea what you're trying to, like, 
element. You can't stop the weather, it's the equinox. You know what that means? You know that thing you saw in the sky? To you, it's the ocean. And you're trying to build a dam with twigs. It's a waste of time. And it won't work. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of beavers, but... Listen, I'm gonna save you some trouble because <laughs> I know She's you're gonna just gonna ignore what I say. say. <laughs> you think you know everything, but you're young and blah, 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 vomit, choke, die. But here's my secret. I know that I don't know everything. I don't know how ketchup works, so save it. Come on, enough. Let's talk like, you know, people. We are talking like people. Most people talk with voices and ears. We're using both. My point is, I know one thing, one thing for sure. I know what I want. I know it, and I know I can get it. And I think that's a lot more than most people. Do you know what you want, Riley? Think about that. Hmm. Parentage was trying to recruit. Oh, E turns Eddie page. Or okay. God, what an annoying person. I almost said the B word. Sorry. Yeah, let's hurry it up. All right, so I'm just going to go down this way and not risk that bug happening again. Yeah, it wouldn't let me walk over here. It was weird. There's nothing blocking me. It's just the game would not... That's a, that's a weird bug so far. Okay, this is how my mind works. I just remembered something. Knock, knock. Who's there? Howie. Howie who? How are we going to hide this dead body? Nah. All right. Yeah, that was uh, beautiful. Bad the first time, bad the second time. <laughs> just trying to lighten the... Never mind. What do we got? What is this thing? Jesus. Oh. office and you're a human being uh answer this huh? please who's that hello you heard that on the Anyone walkie there? right more important what being, was that flash of light just now i can barely see still oh i know uh, uh hi y yes i'm i'm a human yeah of course you are at least tell me you didn't break my equipment over i uh don't think we broke anything okay okay <sighs> name's hank chapman and i just took your picture Assuming you were facing the camera. Otherwise, it'll be the wall. Well, aren't you the lucky one? I usually charge for headshots. Over. That flash wasn't meant for you. Listen, I'm an amateur hobbyist investigator of the inexplicable. Oh. And I don't know if you've noticed, but tonight has been... The professionals would likely call it unusual. Around town, I've set up a series of EMF boosters. Equipment I use to capture, well, let's call it evidence of the unusual. Something's been screwing with them, so I need them checked. One of them is outright not responding. I'm assuming the worst. Can you help me out? Sure, you got it. It's a good deed for messing up the picture. Think of it as karma. Now, there's a generator in the post office with you that powers the boosters. Think of the EMF boosters like a safe. You put in the right code, you get to see what's inside. If you spot anything, maybe snap a picture. If you can't, I'll make it worth your while. Call if you have any trouble. See you in the obit. Over and out. I think he's talking about this thing, right? It says EMF on the side here. You think this could help us? Eh, you know, Hank seems like a, I want to say a nice guy, but these EMF booster things, it's a fun pet project for him, but unless they're going to help us plant this transmitter, I say let's ignore it and try the mines. You know? Well, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to dismiss anything that might be of use. No, 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 I, I, I get that. I, I just don't see how this will be of use yet. It's just deja vu, the game is full of it. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm gonna press the button. I uh, think that came from outside. Pink mentioned grab. Garland Post Office, established 1878. Ooh, okay, that's a time uh, tear. The last one was helpful. Maybe whatever's inside, this one will be too. Or, uh, whenever's inside. Oh yeah, that mine is boarded up. Okay. Back in time it is. So we got 
uh, some numbers here. Or digits, I guess. On the dial. Just, yeah. Careful. Etc. Huh. Oh man, do I risk going back up here if the game bugs out again? Apparently, yes. The answer is yes. I'm going to risk it. I'm not trying to do with these numbers. That one's busted up there. Let's see. Hank wants us to use his booster things, take a picture of something maybe living. Nick, it's Riley. You didn't sink, right? Hey there. Still floating. I appreciate the checkup. Water took a turn, though, but not a friendly one. We're not quite in Charlie Foxtrot territory, but, you know, if the weather gets worse, I can still handle it, but hopefully I'm the only idiot tooling around out here. Ah, my dad was Air Force. Electrical engineering now, not a pilot. Yep, you sniffed it. Served years back. And similar company. I didn't get to fly either. Couldn't speak for the current state of the service, but when I was your age... Everyone was itching for the fastest, shiniest bird in the coop. Everyone wanted to fly. Everyone. I wanted to explore. I wanted the shuttle. Let the flyboys have their pissing contest. I had my eyes elsewhere. Well, yeah, which kid didn't want to be an astronaut growing up? Over. Yeah, never grew out of it. Some, most, might argue I still haven't. But I was too tall, you see. They cap astronauts at six foot four. I'm over by a single inch. Genetics. What you gonna do? Not like I could cut my feet off. Though the thought had occurred. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but like 99.999% of applicants don't make it, right? That's lottery numbers. Over. Yep, and everyone thinks they're gonna get rich. <laughs> Never quite shook the bug to, you know, stand somewhere no one else ever had. That's why I bought the boat. So far, all I've found is seaweed and styrofoam. Anyway, thanks for the check-in. I'm heading further out, see if I can get a better view of it all. Reach out when you can. Make sure I haven't drowned. Over and out. All right, so we need to somehow set these numbers. To what, though? <clears throat> oh hey, maybe we should try going inside the time tear. Yeah, Jacob, I just know, I know. Just know. hold on. Uh, see if those boosters did something. Maybe we can catch a picture of a ghost. It's a year? That's maybe. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Garland Post Eighteen seventy-eight. Nothing else to see in here, is there? What does this say? Tragedy. Twelve lives claimed in deadly mineshaft collapse. Latimer Mines no longer in operation. Garland mourns its greatest enterprise alongside twelve cherished sons. Ugh. From 1892. I guess that's when things started to go downhill. Yep. Maybe if there's ghosts, they would be there. 1892.
Although there's only... I don't know how I can... Uh... I can't get to the other numbers. Like I can change that number, but I can't get to the other panels. I can use, yeah, weird. So either it's bugged or... I guess it's quite possible at this point. three though. And that one's smashed, so This is the one Hank was talking about, the broken one. Yeah, that's toast. But how? Maybe wildlife? I see shoe prints. Maybe not. But never say never, I guess. Almost all of these over here died in 1892. Call Hank back, maybe. No, no dialogue option. Weird. You think there need to be four of them though? If I was gonna dial in a year? I think there's only four, yeah. There's another cable going somewhere that I don't see. I see benches and some kind of weird flag with a pickaxe. NWMA Garland chapter. Oh, okay. I think there are four? Or did I just miss one? No, no. Northwestern. Miners. Um, miners because of the flag. And because, you know, Garland. Uh, Alliance? Northwestern Mining Alliance? Maybe. I'm sure I read the name in 8th grade Oregon State History. Lost to me now. This hall now stands as a permanent memorial to the 12 brave souls who lost their lives during the collapse of Latimer Mine Shaft Day. Dedicated by the families of the dead on this day of February 7th, 1892. Forever in solidarity. Huh. <sighs> Northwest Miners Association. Thank you, Mrs. Staley. What was that date? That was a different date. Where's the fourth one? Andrew Rhines, postmaster, 1878 to 1903. Must have been the first. Huh? Oh, right. First postmaster for the town. Yeah, that makes sense. Why they'd hang a picture. 1878. Wow. Kind of got some Teddy Roosevelt vibes. He looks more easygoing, though. Just, I can't, it won't let me like select the other numbers. I can only select this panel. Whatever it is, this mm, box. Hmm. 
I don't know. All right, let's get, uh, let's just get this thing open. And hopefully it'll save. I'm out of time. Sorry, Hank, I didn't get no ghosts. No ghost pictures for you. I know we got a job to do, but like, this is unbelievable. Wow, like a postcard. Garland in its prime. Wasn't too shabby when she had, uh, townsfolk, huh? Ugh, makes the abandonment all the more tragic. Yeah, it feels strange to see it up and running. Or running, in quotes. Let's look around. Hey, we might be able to get where we need to go through the mine. Let's, let's see where it leads. Oh, goody. A wet, dark, creature-filled cavern. Just don't hug the walls. I don't know when it saves. If it made you save when it, uh... You can't force it to save, which is also annoying. All right. Hopefully it's saved when we entered the mine. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, because I'm out of time. I need to stop. I need to get some food. Oh.